For this lesson, we're going to take a look at properties of parallelograms, and I'm going to use Geometer Sketchpad to demonstrate this. So here we have a segment, segment AB, and we're going to construct a, another segment uh, parallel to this one through this point, and this is point C. So I'm going to go up here and construct a parallel line. And now I'm going to uh, connect points C and A. So we have a line there. And now I want to construct um, another line through point B in parallel to segment CA. So now we have the opposite sides uh, parallel. And I just need the point of intersection, which is point, which is point, going to be point D. So here we've got opposite sides parallel, and let me um, just prove this to you by dra dragging around here to see that we still have a parallelogram. So this is still a parallelogram. Opposite sides are still parallel. I'm going to construct the segment from C to D, and I'm going to construct a segment from D to B, because we really want segments here and not lines. So I'll hide the lines. and we still have our parallelogram. So let's take a look at some properties of parallelograms. So let's take a look at some properties of parallelograms. Let's measure the length of this segment and the length of segment AB. So those segments are congruent. What about the lengths of the other opposite sides? Well, they're congruent as well. And that's true not just for this sp specific parallelogram I have here, but for any parallelogram. The opposite sides of the parallelogram are congruent. What about the angles in a parallelogram? So let's measure angle A. So here's angle A. And let's measure angle B. So there's angle B. Um, notice the sum of these two angles here is actually 180 degrees, and that should make sense since um, angle A and angle B are same side interior angles between two parallel lines. And we know back from chapter 3 that same side interior angles are supplementary. So now let's measure angle D. Notice angle D and A are congruent, so those are opposite angles. They're across from each other in the parallelogram, so those opposite angles are congruent. And let's measure angle C. And notice angle C is also congruent to angle B. So it appears that in a parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. And when I drag on here, we can see that's true. Let's take a look at one last property of parallelograms. Let's construct the diagonals here. So there's diagonal BC. And here's diagonal AD. And let me get their point of intersection. and the point of intersection is point E. Let's measure um, the length of segments AE, so the distance from A to E, and the distance from D to E. And then let's measure the distance from B to E and C to E. Notice that BE and CE are congruent, and segments DE and AE are congruent. Um, no matter what our parallelogram looks like, that will be the case. And what that means then is that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So we're going to be talking about these three properties more in class over the next several days. Uh, the fact that in a parallelogram, besides opposite sides being parallel, opposite sides are congruent, and opposite angles are congruent, as well as consecutive angles being supplementary. Consecutive angles being supplementary. And the last property is that the diagonals bisect each other. So the diagonals split each other into two 
equal or congruent pieces. Uh, don't forget to do the survey that's at tinyurl related to this screencast.